What is going on everybody man? King Recon here and we're gonna talk about the best selling manga in history The almost second best selling comic of all time Ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the one The only Man. And in particular, specifically, we're going to be talking about the awesome sauce of One Piece Burning Blood. Now, Burning Blood and I have a very interesting relationship. You know, when I first got this game, I did not like it that much, man. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not like it that much because compared to the previous One Piece games, the story mode was extremely lacking in terms of content. You know, it really did a great job of, of, of allowing us to see the Marineford War and giving us great cutscenes with the in-game graphics. But it just, it wasn't up to par with all the other games. And I understand what they were trying to do. They were using Burning Blood to, you know, give you the most popular arc in the series so that new fans can come in and say, whoa, this is, this is awesome and go back and then, I guess, start it up from the beginning. Uh, and then, of course, you have, like, this huge roster of characters and whatnot. But, you know, Burning Blood had a lot of potential to be way better than it actually was. And for a while there, I didn't really play it that much because it just, I, I didn't, the whole story thing and then and the gameplay at first didn't really draw my attention either. But as time went by, man, and I just continued to play the game every now and then, and I just, I grew to love it a lot. And eventually it became that one game that I always played whenever I got off work. For a while there, it was Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and One Piece Burning Blood that I continued to play when you know whenever I got home from work. And Burning Blood, I really grew to love it, man. And in terms of the way that it's played and its gameplay and like the three style system of having the three different characters on there, I grew to really love it, man. You know, uh, it, with characters like Jim Bay, whenever uh, Bandana Zoro came out, I absolutely love using Bandana Zoro. Uh, Luffy with his Gear Fourth, man, being able to use any any kind of Luffy, but specifically Gear Fourth Luffy. You know, the first time you could use Gear Fourth, and all the awesome attacks you can use there. Afro Luffy. Both versions of Sabo from Film Gold or the regular version. You know, uh, Law. Law's a freaking beast in this game, man. I, I, going back to what I said before, Jinbei. Of course, my main man himself, Sanji, bro. Uh, so, you know, it, a lot of awesome and interesting characters that you can use on the game. Smoker's also a really fun person to use. But, you know, I I just, I grew to love the way that it's played, man. I, it just, I guess it took me a while to get used to it. Because at first, it, I didn't really rock with it, man. I didn't really rock with it. I thought it was weird. I thought it was very, very blocky. And and it just didn't sit well, well with me, the way that the game was actually played. You know, screw everything else in terms of, like, the, the, of the content in the game. The way it was played didn't really sit well with me. But whenever I actually started doing the wanted posters and just playing it, and I kept playing it, I really got used to the way it's played, and I ended up really loving it. And then I would I assembled the squad, man. The, the squad of Luffy with Gear 4. NL, NL, and Doflamingo, specifically the DLC Doflamingo that is that fights Luffy, man. Those three, uh, we switch out one of them with Sanji, or with Bandana Zoro, or with Jimbe, or with Sabo. That's the squad, or with Law. Squad, man! Like, that, that that's the try-hard class right there, you know? That's the try-hard class, and, um... And I really grew to to love and, and just continue to play as all these characters in, in this in this game. And Burning Blood grew to be a game that I really, really enjoyed. And I still enjoy. You know, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have 100% of the game. But I did. You know, and, I, and I'm really, really proud of this 100% because I've never 100% a One Piece game. Well, maybe I did for the first Pirate Warriors. I'd probably have to go back and check one on, the, on my PS3 uh, if I platinum did or not. But here on the Xbox One, I did completely 100% One Piece Burning Blood and it's kind of crazy because this year I've 100% uh, two games uh, Tekken 7 earlier this year and now One Piece Burning Blood as well Tekken 7 was the other game uh, along with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Tekken 7 and One Piece Burning Blood would be the ones that I would play whenever I get off work you know just to relax and chill and just play the awesome sauce but I got really really addicted to Burning Blood man those want those uh wanted posters the the like the massive um collection of wanted posters that entire line like I just I love just playing the game and like listening to a podcast or something while I played it. It was just, it really allowed me to 
you know, um, just relax and chill and play as, as, as all these awesome characters. And I really, really enjoyed myself. And then going back to the story mode and playing through all through all like the special missions, some of the special missions that you play is like the opposing side and whatnot. It was, it was, it was, it was a good game. It was a good game. Definitely could have been better. You know, if, if there's like a Burning Blood 2, I would more certainly say to e e emphasize and focus more on the story mode. Uh, to get like a more compelling story mode that will draw in even more fans than before. You know, that's the one thing the Naruto Storm games do really, really well is that even for people who don't even watch Naruto, they know the story because of how well Naruto Storm does their stories. So they need to do something like that for One Piece, man. Give us like a really, really, and I understand I do with Pirate Warriors, but Pirate Warriors is a PlayStation exclusive. This game was available for both Xbox and for PlayStation. So if they were to do a Burning Blood 2 and they were to keep it on both consoles, we need a better and more compelling story mode. We need um, servers that aren't that aren't as laggy as they are online, man. You know, online maybe it's just my internet, but you know, online is it's it, it pisses me off at times, man. And Marco, bro, the spam, bro, he pisses me off, man. Flipping Marco, but yeah, man, Burning Blood, it, it was quite a journey from when I first got this game and from you know playing it every once in a while, not really. Uh, liking it too much still enjoying it but not like it too much to really really liking it and being actually addicted to it for <coughs> excuse me as you being addicted to it for a little bit but i really really enjoyed my time with this game man and i'm, I'm proud of this 100 percent and i'm really looking forward to seeing if they do pull out of burning blood 2 but it doesn't look to be likely because i know we have new vr game and that code dawn game that looks freaking sick with with um with a shadowy figure in front of a burning body joa I can't wait to get more information on that game. Hopefully at Jump Festa we get some sort of more information. I know we're probably not going to get a trailer until 2018. But I want more information on that game. Because it just looks awesome sauce. It looks very, very, um, it, it looks like you're, it's more, it's going to be more story oriented. It's going to be a lot of fun. But Burning Blood, in from its multiplayer standpoint, and from the in, in, from the way the characters are, and how each move set is different from, from the others, um, how the characters they do have, uh, how different they are from each other and the way they play and whatnot. I, I, I enjoyed it, man. I, th I think it was a very, very solid addition to the massive library that is the One Piece games. And I really, really enjoyed it, man. I really, really enjoyed it. I think it was uh, quite, a, quite an experience to, to play whenever, you know, you just want to relax and chill and play as your favorite characters from the greatness and the awesome sauce of One Piece. So let me know what your guys' experience with Burning Blood was. Did you guys enjoy it? Or were you like me at first that you didn't like it and maybe you stayed away from it? Or maybe you loved it from the very beginning and you continue to play it. And if and if you guys do play Burning Blood, what, what's, your, what's your three man? What's your, what's your three man squad? Because like I said, mine switches out. I, I also forgot to say that I use a Prime White Beard a lot. And I, um, yeah, Prime White Beard and, and uh, Black Beard a lot. So it just switches between all of them. But like in terms of the main ones that I use, for sure Luffy's up there. And like uh, NL and and Doflamingo, Asanji, uh, Bandana Zoro, uh, Jimbei, Prime White Beard, Black Beard, Law, Jimbei, um, Sabo. Yeah, Sa Sabo is like top four. I, I love using Sabo in this game. So yeah, those those are the ones that I use the most. But um, yeah, I just I love the way the characters play and, and how you know against certain characters that play a certain style. Like whenever I play my friend Josh, he always spams with Marco. So in order to counter that spam, I gotta hit him with with Jimbei because Jimbei has the, the sickest counter moves in the game. Dude. Jimbei, Jimbei greatness, man. But. You guys, I'm awesome today. I'm so happy that I got this 100% One Piece awesome sauce. And um, just looking forward to seeing if they're going to announce something with Burning Blood 2. But if not, uh, Burning Blood the w number one has been completed. And I'll still be playing it every once in a while just because, you know, it's One Piece Burning Blood. And um, But I'm looking forward to, to, to uh, hopefully an announcement one day because Burning Blood had a great concept, you know, bringing people, bringing new fresh faces to the series. I just thought that with Burning Blood 2, they're able to fix up uh, a couple of things when it comes to the game. Uh, and if they fix that, man, I think we, we, we will have a really, really good game on our hands. You know, a lot of sequels in, in video games, because not when it comes to, like, movies and whatnot. But when it comes to video games, a lot of twos are usually better than ones, man. It's And that's a factual statement. That's a factual statement. So, you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. One Piece Greatness, and I will see you guys next time.